What's up club kids, Coach MJ here. Today we're talking about balance um, and I'm bringing to you a yoga series, Balance Challenge. Balance is so fun, it's really helpful in um, just building overall strength and it also really calms the mind and brings you to the present moment. So I encourage you to give this a try with your friends and or family at home and here we go. We're gonna start standing. I'm gonna to try to give you the angles as we go, but beginning, you're gonna take the weight into your one foot. I'm starting on my right foot, and then I'm gonna tuck my tail under as I pull my knee towards my torso. So that's the first position, and we're taking a bind with the hand here, kind of driving the hand and the knee together to create a little bit of tension. So this is your first position. Try to balance here, take five or six breaths, then extend the arm wide. So I have my hand wide like this, like I'm trying to halt traffic. And then I'm gonna open my hip, keeping my foot flexed. Let's see if I can give you all this. Keep my foot flexed and extending the arm. So here we're thinking about pressing the hips forward, belly forward, keeping the chest nice and tall. So we'll stay here, hold for approximately six breaths, which is about 30 seconds. Then release this bind. See if you can drive the heel backwards behind you. Turn this into an airplane pose. So I'm gonna tuck my chin a little bit to look at the floor. I really have a flexed, intense ankle behind me and I extend my arms backwards, imagining I'm pressing down on pedestals to kind of aid the balance here. So then we're holding for approximately six breaths or as long as possible. And then we're bringing that knee back to the center where we started. Both hands reach nice and high. You could try kick that foot. Three, two, one. And then we're going to turn this into a tree pose. So this is probably a balance you've seen before. Creating a bind between the sole of the foot and the inner thigh is one option. Also an option would be to create the bind between the sole of the foot and the calf. Less, you could also kickstand your foot on the floor here to help create some balance. So any of those places is good. Let's avoid pushing the heel into the knee. That's a nice way to get an injury. So we find some place to create a bind above or below the knee. Palms will press here just to kind of help the core engage. And then you take the arms to whatever expression feels good for you. Reaching how you could look up. See if you can find a spot on the ceiling. Steady your gaze there. This is a fun challenge. This is called Fallen Tree. So you lean your tree into that bent knee. Really works the outside of the hip. An extra challenge. And then see if you can come on out of it, nice and controlled, lift the knee to center and replace it to the mat. So my standing leg is burning in the arch of the foot, calf, even in the hip here. So take some time to tend to whatever you need to there before you bring this to the second side. So here my left foot connects to the mat. I'm drawing the tailbone under as I pull the knee towards my torso. Step one. Now I add the bind between the hand and the shin. Step two, I'm gonna extend the left arm this time and open the hip to the right. So I'm giving you a slightly different angle here, hoping that you can see the whole thing. So then if you really want to challenge, take your gaze over your extended arm. See if you can hold here. Don't worry if you fall out, just keep trying. And then we're keeping that engagement in the ankle here. You can see that as I drive my heel behind me, hands reaching behind as well. I'm gonna drop my chest as much as I can lift my heel. So we wanna be nice and vertical in our positioning here. Keep the eyes on the floor, really calm gaze will help establish the balance. And we'll take our two more breaths in this airplane or decasana position. And then with control, we're bringing that knee back through to the center and we're turning this into our tree. Sole of the foot makes a connection to the leg, standing leg. And then imagine the leg and the foot pulling towards one another. That will really help to shore up the balance here. Palms press just to help you find your center. And then we grow the limbs 
to create whatever expression of a tree works for you. I'm gonna reach up nice and high, take my gaze with it, pause for a breath or two here, and then try the fallen tree, which has me extending out of the side body. Whoa! And my tree fell over. That's cool, no problem, try it one more time. Create that bind, lifting it high, and then we lean. Oh, it's not happening today. And then we come back through the center. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give yourself lots of grace. Balance is a fun thing. Don't worry about it if it doesn't happen right away. Keep trying and uh, challenge your siblings to do it at home. See who's got the best balance at your house. Can't wait to see you guys when we return to the club. Take care.